Hello and welcome everyone to the first episode of Let's Play Banished. And in this series we're going to attempt to build a big sprawling city aiming for roughly 1000 citizens and while doing so explore what the game has to offer as well as talk through all the steps that we're going to have to need to take to uh, make sure that we get to 1000 citizens. So with that said let's look at what we got here. We have our town name Howie. We have the map seed in case anyone wants to play along on the same map. Uh, the terrain type is going to be flat plains, and as you'll see, we have the Colonial Charter mod enabled. Uh, I chose to not enable the Mega mod. The Colonial Charter has plenty of options, so that will do. The terrain size is going to be very large. I like playing on large maps. The climate is going to be fair. I don't think there's going to be a need for mild fair will do just fine. Uh, I've turned the disasters off, and the starting conditions will be Adam and Eve. I think that's going to be very interesting. We're starting with just two people. A small amount of food, some firewood and clothing in a small storage cart. No structures will be built, no seeds or livestock are initially available. So I think that's going to be quite interesting. So without further ado, let's look at what we have. Okay, so before we do anything, let's pause the game so we can set up in peace. And let's look at our terrain here. Oh, it seems that we have a small lake on the left side. That's nice. That's going to be uh, a lot of food, potentially, if we build the right buildings. We have a mountain nearby. That's also very good. And a river to the north, so that's fine. So let's, uh, let's get set up here. So we'll go to the tools and reports and I'll toggle the general statistics as well as a event log. We're gonna pull that down to the left side so we know what's going on at all times. I like playing with the minimap. So let's put that around here. And a professions list. And I like to go with the vertical scrolling one that's uh, gonna fit in right here. Very nice. Okay. So let's look at what we got here. We got a nice river going from the south, making a bend here, and then going all the way to the east. That's nice. We have our two people here, Adam and Eve, but they're not actually called Adam and Eve. They're called Graydon and Mani. So, and we have our small little stor uh, storage cart here with some apples, firewood, some basic clothing and some iron tools so let's see what we can do here first so before we start to do anything let's focus on the top left hand side here and we'll see that our general statistics show how much logs we have so in order for us to be uh, to be able to build any buildings we're going to need logs so in order to make sure that we can get logs let's build a forester sludge so we can go here to the resource production, then take foresters and logging, and we have a foresters launch on the left side. So let's try to build it as close as possible to the storage car, so we don't have our uh, citizens walking long distances to get food and or clothing and tools. So I'm gonna try to stay clear of the river, because that river is potentially very important for us to uh, build some buildings that are going to require water and let's look I think roughly here we'll do also leaving a little space for the mountain here so I think roughly here we'll do now we've placed it down let's pick it up and pause it for the time being and let's see here so we can now start building this building, but we'll, we're going to need logs for it to build anyway, 32 to be exact, and in the removal and the destruction tools, we can toggle the harvest trees, so we'll not necessarily need the uh, forester's lodge to create logs, we can also do that by hand. 
so that's going to be easy. Uh, the second thing we're going to be needing is some firewood. Now this is a building that's going to be required right from the start, because we can harvest trees, but we cannot make it into firewood uh, manually. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to have to do. So let's uh, let's pick a road here, and I like using the gravel roads. And let's put that road, drag it all the way to here. Yeah. And let's pull it to the side. I'm gonna go for 16 here. Pull it down, another 16. And repeat. There we go. So, let's look for a place for our uh, building that can make firewood. And initially, it might not be the best idea to go for the building that I'm building right here which is going to be the sawmill, because it requires quite a bit of uh, lumber just to produce, but it's going to work out in the end. So let's place that roughly here. Okay, so let's pick it up and pause it. And let's make sure that our people, we who are currently homeless, as you can see by the yellow uh, icons floating on top of them, Let's build a house right next to the uh, right next to the sawmill here. So let's go for a log cabin. It's small, but it'll do for now, and it provides housing for a single family, and it has better warmth and comfort than a wooden home. So let's get set up here. That's going to be the building, and let's place that log cabin right here. Again, pick it up, pause it. And let's see what we gotta do here. So when I start a game, I like to build a storage uh, a stockpile very close to the Forester's Lodge, because initially we're going to be uh, needing a place to stock whatever we cut down when we start building a building. So let's say we're going to start our log cabin. There are five uh, obstructions currently which our laborers are going to have to remove and if they're going to remove that they're going to be uh, they'll, they'll be needing a place to store it so instead of uh, them wandering around and placing it anywhere I want them to have a nice stockpile where they can go and get stuff if they need it also when we start our Forester's Lodge he'll also be able to be placing uh, He'll also be able to place his uh, logs right here. So that's going to work out nicely. So let's pick it up. And put it here. And let's see. What's the next thing we gotta worry about? So, food, obviously. But similar to the trees, we can also uh, collect wild foods. So we won't necessarily need a building for that right off the start. So we'll leave that be for now. And firewood and food are the two crucial, uh, let's say, resources that we need. Because if we run out of them, our uh, citizens will either freeze to death if they don't have enough firewood, or they'll starve to death if they don't have enough food. So those two things, we need to keep a close eye on them. So stone, yes, it's going to be important, but not for now, because similar to the uh, food as well as the trees, we can collect stone by hand and some medicine yeah that's something we're definitely gonna need so why don't we plan for that as well so let's go to the town services here and we can go to the health and healing and we can pick up an herbalist so if we select that put it across from the stockpile right here and place it there again we can pick it up pause it we don't need it for now iron yeah, we're uh, going to be needing that in the future as well, but not for now. And then the tools and the clothes, we're also going to be needing that one. So why don't we place those buildings down right away, so we don't forget. So we can go to the refined resources here. And let's start with the, uh, with the tools first. So we can go to the tools and forge. And click the blacksmith. And let's place that 
right here. Select it, pause it, and well, let's close this window for now. We can go to the clothing and fabrics and select our tailor. Mm, let's say right here. So, we have our setup right now, so let's see uh, what we're going to have to do first. And also a little trick similar to, this, uh, to the stockpile right here. Uh, when I start on Adam and Eve, especially when we have our storage card so, uh, so far removed from where we're going to be building stuff, let's add a small, let's see, here, storage cellar. A food cellar right here. And why don't we build that here? And also pause it. Now the reason that I'm doing this is that uh, especially in the beginning, we don't have any uh, food producing buildings right away. Uh, we will be collecting wild foods by hand and if we're going to uh, collect foods, I do not want the citizens to uh, have to run all the way back to the storage cart. I'd like them to uh, have a place where they can do that very close by, so let's, uh, let's keep it at that. So yeah, I think for the most part, well we can also place down the food buildings while we're at it anyway. So especially in the beginning, uh, I would recommend we go for the raw food gathering because it's uh, pretty simple to build. Uh, it gives us uh, venison in the hunting cabin, fish in the uh, in the fishing docks. It's all pretty straightforward. So we don't need any advanced construction materials to get there. So that's going to be easy. So let's place down a hunting cabin just across the street from the Forester's Lodge. Put it down. And the good thing about the hunting cabin is that it produces both food as well as uh, leather, which we will be needing in our tailor. So, two birds, one stone. And why don't we build a gatherer's hut as well? Right there. Pause it. We won't be needing that for the time being. And let's see, so we have a building for our logs, but we can do that by hand. We have placed down our firewood building, which is going to be the sawmill. We have placed down a gatherer's hut as well as a forester's lodge for the food. We can pick up stone by hand, same goes for iron ore. We have the stored medicine, the herbalist right here. We will be ignoring iron for the time being, and we have a building for the tools as well as the clothes. So first things first, let's see what our citizens are going to work on first. Now, I've paused all the buildings that we've placed down, but we're unable to uh, pause the stockpile. And that's actually a good thing, because if we're going to be constructing all these buildings, I'd like them to have a stockpile at the ready. So, let's start up this game. And follow our citizens and see what you're going to do. Now, uh, 1x is going to be somewhat slow, so I'm going to increase that to 5x. And for the time being, I'm going to keep my citizens at, uh, both of them at labor. We won't be needing, uh, we won't be needing builders. At least not now. So, that's our stockpile finished fairly quickly. And let's uh, make sure that they have a house to live in, so we can solve the homeless problem right off the bat. There we go. Uh, let's see here. So they're going to have to remove roughly, uh, or exactly, five materials that are blocking the way. And we'll be needing 30 logs to make sure that this log cabin can be built, as well as 8 stone. Now if we look at the top left here, we can see that we only have 8 stored logs and two stone. So we'll be needing a little bit more construction materials in order to complete the house. So why don't we take the harvest trees right here and remo remove a few of them. And let's also pick up a little bit of stone right here. And let's see if that's enough. Now if I'm going to remove stone, I, if I can, preferably, like to remove it in the sphere of influence of the, uh, of the woodcutter here, uh, because 
this stone, if it keeps here, no trees can grow there. So if the Forester's Lodge is going to plant trees, because it plants and it cuts down, uh, it will have more area to do so. So whatever stone is in the area of operations of our Forester's Lodge is going to be less efficient. So now that we've selected that, let's start the game. And hopefully you'll start building the wooden house and taking the resources that they'll actually need. There we go. They're clearing the plot. And let's see how many resources they can take from that plot. Hopefully a few. And it gives us a notification that the logs are low. Yep. Sounds about right. There they go. Cutting down the trees for more logs. This might be a very old game, but it's still uh, it's very enjoyable to play. Very relaxing and challenging at the same time. So let's see. Yep. Yeah. Our citizens are moving back to the storage cart to get either food, clothing, or tools, depending on their needs. So I'd like to be able to build that, uh, let's see, where do we have it? Food cellar, right away. So they don't have to go back and forth for food. And we're going to be running, of that, running out of that very soon, so we need to be uh, sure that we have it done as soon as possible. So let's see, log cabin. We don't have enough logs yet. Let's select a few more trees to harvest. And I still see some stone that they can cut down. So that's a good thing. There they go. Now as soon as they... Uh have enough logs and or stone to complete the building, you'll see that uh, a small part of the building will become visible. There we go. And that means it's time for us to assign a builder. So let's assign one builder, and you'll notice that the laborer, uh, one laborer will become a builder. So now that the builder is going to start building our log cabin, we can focus our labor on the food cellar. So let's unpause that. And it only needs 10 logs, and it can be built fairly quickly. So that's excellent. There we go, that'll do. And our laborer is still working on the trees that we're going to have to cut down, as well as the stone. But let's add just a little bit of food. Now they have a house, so they can start making children. And let's hope that our food cellar is going to uh, be built very soon. Let's increase the priority on that one so the builder knows what to focus on first. And you'll notice that the yellow icons have also uh, disappeared, so that's excellent. And there we go. Food cellar. Easy. Now we started off with quite a bit of food, but we already consumed half of that, so let's make sure we don't run out of them. We only have two people. And if we're going to build a town of a thousand citizens, we cannot afford to lose a single one of them. So let's speed it up again. I hear that the uh, builders started working on the roads, so that's nice as well. And let's see, let's make sure that we have the sawmill at the ready, because that's going to be crucial for our survival. Now, we do have 75 firewood, and it's still early summer, and the 75 firewood is going to uh, last us through the winter, so it's not crucial that we finish this before the winter comes, but I'd like to have it up as, uh, as soon as can be anyway. So, let's see. Where is our pillar at? Still working on the roads. I like to keep it, uh, limit myself with the road building at the start because the builder will take a sweet time building all the roads before doing anything productive as a laborer. 
because if the builder has nothing to build, it will uh, start acting as a labor. There we go. Let's see where our labor is at. Again, went back to the storage car. Not ideal. But especially in the beginning, and especially when we're working on enemy Eve, it's only uh, it's only fair that we take our sweet time to get set up the right way. So that's nice. We still have ten obstructions here, or three out of the ten have already been uh, removed. And let's hope that we have enough logs. One hundred and ten logs is. Uh, it's quite demanding on the resources, but I think this building is going to be very efficient, especially in the long run. And I do not want to be building uh, smaller versions of the sawmill just to uh, be stingy on the on the resources here. So let's build a big one right off the gate. Yeah, there we go. We have 68 logs. So that means that we're going to have to cut down trees anyway. So let's harvest a few more. Let's pick up these. And a bit of these. Yeah, there are still a few rows that need to be built here. But that's gonna work out just fine. So let's see if our food cellar still empty. That's a bad sign. So let's hope that the builder starts finishing the roads so it can uh, help the laborer with collecting foods. Because we're out of food at the moment. So let's pause the game. And as we can see here, our stored food is at zero. So that is quite bad. So why don't we play it on the safe side and let's pause the sawmill for now, go back to the removal and the destruction tools and cancel any removal that we still have here. And let's solely focus on collecting wild foods and let's uh, take it roughly here. And let's start up the game again. So the laborer will have nothing else to do but to collect foods. It shouldn't be working on the sawmill if we're uh, out of food. And as soon as the builder is done, he will also start working uh, on collecting foods. There we go. 66 food. Very nice. So especially in the beginning we need to be uh, careful that we do not run out of food, especially if we don't have the buildings that are going to automate the food production for us. And the same of course goes for the, uh, for the firewood here. Those are the really crucial things to, uh, to take care of. And if we only start out with two people, we're going to have to be assigning uh, people. If we don't have enough people to uh, fill all the jobs that we need, we're going to have to uh, switch back and forth to make sure that we... Uh, not run out of the crucial materials here. And a child named Emmy was born. So that's good. Very good. That's the reason that we started the log cabin uh, right off the gate. Because they'll need homes to uh, uh, to be producing children. There we go. 150. Yeah. So let's start up the sawmill again. It's uh, already autumn, so we need to get moving on that. It has 31 logs, we currently have 52. That's not gonna be enough. So again, let's pick up some trees, right here. And hopefully the builder is done, so we can start helping the laborer. Now let's see how much... We don't need any stone for the sawmill, so that's, uh, that's excellent. we have some food in the food cellar. Excellent. So now, because they have the food cellar right here, they won't be needing to make the trip to the storage cart. 
for food. Now, it still has, uh, let's see here, tools and uh, clothing. So, yes, they will uh, need to go to the storage carts eventually. But they'll, uh, they'll need more food than they'll need tools and or clothes. So, I prefer the small trips over the big ones. And now that the builder is done, we started helping with the work. There we go, 99. And we'll get to uh, 110 in no time. Hopefully. Okay, excellent. So as soon as the builder saw that all the materials were there, were there, he started building a sawmill. So let's, uh, let's look at what we're gonna build next. So we started up with five hearts, this is our health. And in order to make sure that we can keep a healthy birth rate, we're going to be needing a herbalist very soon. So let's start unlocking that. That's gonna be very important for us because I wanna keep uh, our citizens healthy so they can uh, reproduce. And let's focus on a blacksmith because we're running out of our tools fairly quickly as well. And let's uh, not focus on a forcer's lodge for now. In fact, why don't I pause the herbalist and do the blacksmith first? Because if we run out of tools, the efficiency of our uh, people, both the laborers and the builders, will decrease dramatically. So the last thing I want to be uh, worrying about is our tools. So let's, uh, let's pick it up as soon as we can. I think aside from the um, firewood and food, tools is very, very important. cannot have efficiency going down. Okay, builder is still working on the sawmill. It's quite a expensive building in terms of uh, what it needs to be built as well as building time. But it's gonna work out just fine. It's taking shape real nice. So might want to build a storage cart or a storage barn rather right here so we won't be uh, having any use for the storage cart altogether because the food seller works for now but eventually we're going to want to be stocking more than just food and I do not want my citizens to get to this point if they need a tool or if they need a coat or whatever have you I want them to have everything close by no waste of time. There we go. At 80 out of 110. And we're already in late winter, so yeah, that's gonna be a excellent timing. Move 13 out of 13. 32 logs. Yeah, we're not gonna have enough logs, so we still have some uh, logs that we can take right here. We also do not have enough stone. That's that's bad news. So why don't we go back to the removal and collect a little bit more stone. Right there. Okay, the sawmill is complete. So let's uh, make sure nobody has to work there right now. And a total of three people can work here, if I'm correct. Yes, they can. And we can sign, uh, assign a laborer to start working here and cre create, in this case, uh, lumber out of log. But we don't need lumber, that's a construction material. And we'll need firewood right here. But it's going to need logs, so we're currently out of them. But we still have enough firewood, so uh, let's uh, wait for August until we worry about that. But we at least have the building. That was the big part. Let's see, yeah, 100 food. Gotta be a little bit careful about that. And they still have a few things in the queue, because they need to cut down trees, as well as uh, remove some rocks on the other end. So let's uh, make sure we don't run out of that. But so far we're doing okay. We survived the first winter. still have 25 firewood left. 
and 100 food. So let's make sure we queue that up right away. And again, I like to uh, collect food close to where they can drop it. So the food seller. Food is low as well as stone. So they don't have to make big trips to get it to where it needs to be. We only have three tools. Yeah, yeah, that's going fast. That's going real fast. So actually, let's just speed it up a little bit. I don't usually like to go 10x, especially not in the early game, because you uh, have a lot of things to focus on. And it's easy to forget a few things, which can really mess up your late game, uh, late game base. So let's just do it for now, but not too fast, not for too long. Logs, but we don't have enough stone. They already picked that up. I'm not sure. No, they're starting to work on it now. And we do have enough iron ore. So, excellent. Excellent. Now that we have all the materials in place, hopefully our builder will come around and start building it. There we go. 104. Let's, uh, let's take some more food here. There we go. And let's wait until it's done. Food. So that means that the labor is already starting to uh, pick up some food. No, it's still working on the stone. But it means we're not at zero anymore. So that's excellent. And the blacksmith is taking shape. Excellent. Uh, where's the laborer at? All the way here. Again, trying to uh, pick up any stone that we need in range of the forester. More place for uh, more room for trees. And there we go. So let's pause the game here and let's take the blacksmith. And also, we don't need anyone to work right now. And only one person can work here. And again, similar to the uh, to the sawmill, we can assign laborers to start working here. And it'll take logs as well as iron ore and produce rough tools. But before we start doing this, I think this is uh, going to have to be the end of the episode. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully see you in the next episode. Thank you.